Welcome back to the show. Okay, Todd, look, we got all these beautiful ingredients. Why don't you tell us what we got here? All right, we got some chicken. Uh, uh, everything I use is fillets and uh, without any uh, bones. So this is fillet chicken breast. We have the thighs and we have uh, the uh, obviously the drumsticks. Okay. Um, but there's I've bones got, in the drumsticks. Yeah, there, there's some bones in there. Yeah, so you're gonna get like a stock yeah. out of that. Yeah, but you, you gotta have a drumstick in your gumbo. That's it. You got you gotta have a little bit of it gives that flavor to the gumbo. Okay. So um, okay, chicken sausage with uh, green onions and jalapenos, very key ingredient. Uh, we like to put a, one link of fresh sausage in here, okay. and I found that this is the ticket. So okay, uh, this is. Uh, be, uh, I do it on Dewey, and I like Savoy's. That's the, my my brand of choice. And uh, so, so all put, three packs are on Dewey. It's not smoked no, sausage. No, no, no. This is uh, oh, okay. pork sausage, smoked okay. pork sausage, hot. So and got, I like the hot. I like a, a spicy gumbo. So we got and this two is pounds. beef sausage. Wow. So we got beef, pork, and on Dewey, and chicken sausage. Man. And then we got onions, bell pepper, you know, the Cajun trifecta without without the uh, celery. Okay. And then green onions, and I like to make make my roux from scratch. I add a little bit of the Carrie's dry roux, and I have all my other rest of the ingredients. So you're not a, a, a root in a jar man? No, oh, absolutely not. Uh, That's a little more fist bump, right? That. Me neither, bro. That's not I mean, right. That's but have you ever right. done a made a roux on the grill? No, I have not. We will. I can't wait. Okay, and then we got the uh, seasoning. So what do you season it with? Well. That's it. Uh, old Cajun man told me you got to keep it simple. So all I put is salt and red pepper. That's all he used to put. I really like Tony's, so I put Tony's in there as well. And I, my kicker is a little garlic powder. A little extra garlic yep. powder to give it a little bit of something, yep. something. Okay, sounds good. So, okay, so how we're going to do this, since you're not used to cooking on the grill, making a gumbo on the grill, we're going to do it while we're doing, at the next segment, we're going to be doing the roux on the grill. Okay. We're going to take some of the, uh, the the chicken meat, and we're going to put that on the grill, and we're going to smoke it. That sounds awesome. So we're going to actually slow smoke the, the, the chicken while we're okay. making the roux, and then by the time the roux is ready, what you, after you normally put your roux in, do you add your liquid? Uh, after we do the roux, yeah, we, we, we're going to put our liquid, We're gonna, and then I put the little dry roux after we get it to a boil. And, right. Uh, and I, first I got to saute the onions in bell pepper. Saute that down. Yes, that's okay. the first thing we do. Okay. So, and then I, I usually make my roux on the side. So we'll make the roux on the side, we'll pull it off, we'll let it cool off, go. and then we'll saute your stuff, there your we vegetables go. and stuff. All right, so it's really not that complicated. Not You're going to see how easy it is. And it, it's, but the slower you go, the better you are. Oh, yeah, nice so. and slow. And you see, you know, having this grill, you can lower and lift. That's awesome. If you want to get it hot, or you can turn I'm it I'm sold. Down. I haven't even put it on. I'm already sold. Okay. And you'll get that little smoke flavor, which like is that. really kind of cool. Yeah. So don't go nowhere. We'll be right back.